Okay, here's our new transceiver board. A uh, plusy via lateral stages that are set up uh, for surface mount with the SVL1 before and after. Uh, this is the product detector balance modulator. This is the receive transmit mixer. Here's the uh, stage with the BF991. Here's the uh, little audio amplifier stage right here. And here's the <clears throat> SI5351 set up for 40 meters. And uh, so this is a, kind of a tour of the, uh, the rig, not much there. The balance modulator uh, will be built right in this area right here. And the audio amplifier will be soldered down to the board. And this space right in here will be set aside for the bandpass filter. So we'll have the bandpass filter, receiver transmit mixer, two IF stages, 12 megahertz crystal filter, product detector, balance modulator, uh, the audio amp and mic amp will go in that section there and that's the switching between transmit and receive. So uh, not much to it, uh, but working pretty good. There's a gun test on today. And and so we're listening a little bit to that. Or contest. A lot of activity in the band today. This is Pete and 6QW, the new rig. CW. Uh, it's okay on CW, the filter's a little wide. Uh, we can make it much narrower, changing the content, uh, the uh, values of the uh, matching capacitors. There's 68 picofarads either end, 120, and then 150. And uh, this has uh, been kind of optimized for sideband, not CW. And if you were a CW op, you'd, you'd want to change those values to make the filter a little more narrow. The uh, bi-directional amplifier based on the work of G4GXO. The two plusy uh, bi-directional amplifiers, SVL1s, 12.096 megahertz filter, audio amp. And this space here will be the microphone amp, audio amp. This will be the uh, bandpass filter. And so we're getting closer. This is Pete, N6QW.